Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's opening group. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I hope you were able to enjoy the beautiful weather. Are you guys ready to get started? Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? It is time to start our day. We are here to work and play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? I want you to direct your t attention to our calendar. If you look at our calendar, you notice that it's different color. Our last one was blue. This one is green. And if we look at the month, it does not begin with A anymore. That's because we're in a new month. Take a look at the first letter of this month. What letter is that? Yeah, if you said M, you are correct. Is that an uppercase or a lowercase? It is uppercase because all proper nouns, all months and names begin with an uppercase. So we have M for May. Can you say May? Very good. So on Friday, we didn't have our opening group, but Miss Carolyn had up our new calendar. So on Friday, we had this number. What number is this? Good, we had the number one. So we're gonna put an X under the number one. And then on Saturday, we had the number two, that was a weekend day. And Sunday, another weekend day, we had the number three. So what number comes after three? What number do we have today? Good, we have four. So we are going to clap and count from one to four. And when we get to four, we're going to stop. Ready? One, two, three, four. Today is May 4, 2020. How many more virtual learning days do we have this week? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Very good. If you notice on this number, what number is this? Eight, good. We have a birthday. Azra's birthday is on May 8th. And some of you may have seen that all the way down here. We have another birthday. 2-8. Two 2-8 eight. Two eight says 28. On May 28, we have Hunter's birthday. So how many birthdays do we have this month? Let's count. One, two. Two birthdays in the month of May. I am super excited. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. These are the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. These are the week. 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 If yesterday was Sunday, what day is it today? You can use the song. Thinking aloud of Sunday and there's Monday. Good. Can we say it in a sentence? Tuesday is Monday. Monday and May both begin with the same letter. They both would begin with the uppercase M. How many syllables are in Monday? Let's clap it out. Monday. Good. Two times. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Tell me, students, what's the weather? What's the weather like today? Take a look out your window. When I get to the correct picture, you're going to tell me to stop. Are you ready? Sunny. Yes, it's sunny today, so we get to add another sunny dot. How many sunny dots do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here's eleven, a one and a one. We're catching up to cloudy. How many more dots does sunny need to be equal to cloudy? Yeah, it needs one more dot. Cloudy has the most, snowy has the least. Boys and girls, some of you may know that on Sunday, it is Mother's Day. I'm going to put a little flower here so we remember that Sunday, the one and the zero, the 10, is Mother's Day. On Mother's Day, we honor our mothers or the special women in our lives. 
So this week, all of our read alouds are going to be geared towards mothers. And on Friday, our Google Meet is going to be a mommy and me Google Meet. So you can invite your mommy to come. She can bring her a cup of tea or coffee. We're going to read a story about mommies. And then on Thursday, one of your activities is to draw a picture of something that you and mommy like to do together. And then under the picture, you're gonna write your message. After you're done that, you're gonna save that and you're gonna bring that with you to Friday's Mommy and Me Google Meet. Does that sound good? All right. So one of the songs that I sing to my children is called You Are My Sunshine. And I'm going to sing this song today. I want you to listen and if you know it, you can sing along, okay? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I thought that was a good song because that is a song that mommies and daddies like to sing to their children. And I especially like to sing that to my little ones. So our message today is we are going to pick flowers for mommy. I'm going to say it again. We are going to pick flowers for mommy. So boys and girls, you guys are really good with drawing your pictures and your props, and you're going to continue to do that on your play plan. However, I'm not going to do it up here anymore. I'm just going to write my lines. So I want you to say the message. We are going to pick flowers for mommy. And I'm going to write my lines. Here we go. We are going to pick flowers is one line flowers for mommy is also one line mommy period don't forget our period it tells us to stop next step let's track our prayer we are going to pick flowers for mommy we have enough, so now we're going to get ready to write. Remember, the reason we write is to help us to remember things. We has to be a big W, an uppercase W, because all sentences begin with an uppercase. We are going to pick. Pick. Does it have the same sound as game or pan. Yeah, it has the same sound as pan, which is P. Pick flowers for mommy. Mm. Does it have the L sound or the M sound as in man? Yeah, it has the M sound, which is an M. All right, so let's go back and reread. We are going to pick flowers for mommy. So let's pretend we're picking flowers for mommy. Bend over, pick, and smell. Ready? Pick and smell. One more time. Pick and smell. Awesome job, boys and girls. All right, it is time to get up and move our bodies. We are going to be doing the freeze. We're going to do freeze on the number again, but instead of using the number cards, I am going to use the picture cards. You're going to count how many items are on the picture card and then put that amount of fingers up. All right, here we go. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So put six fingers in the air.
seven. Awesome job moving your bodies, boys and girls. So our share the news topic today is what do you like to do with your mommy or a special woman in your life? So it could be about mommy or grandma or an auntie. What do you like to do with mommy or a special women, woman in, our, in your life? So talk to someone in your household about that. You can also have mommies and daddies text me so I can write it down on a um, chart paper so we can record all of our answers. Boys and girls, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to tune in to our activity of the day, which is the rhombus venger drawing. And I also have a mommy and me, or it's called my mommy and I uh, story read aloud. I hope you guys enjoy the beautiful weather today and I'll see you a little later. Bye-bye. Miss you guys.